Hello everyone, I'm Thiago, and this is a video about addition and subtraction of fractions uh, with common denominators. Okay, so first of all, what is a fraction? A fraction is a part, a part of the total. So if we take something like a pizza, for example, a pizza, which is split into three parts. If we have one of these three parts, then we have one third of the pizza. If we have a pizza that is split into four parts, then we have one of those parts, we have one fourth of that pizza. Um, and we can write that as one third in this case, and one fourth. The bottom number always refers to um, how many parts this hole is split into, the pizza is split into, and the top is how many parts you have. So in this case, you have one of the four parts, so it's one fourth, all right? And also important to know that the top is called the numerator and the bottom is called the denominator. So now, what if you want to add two different fractions? Well, you can have, for example, one pizza that is split into three parts, um, another pizza that's split into three parts, and then you get one part of each pizza, you get one part from this pizza, one part from this pizza, and you want to add them together. What do you do? Well, if you take one third of this, of this pizza and bring it to this pizza, you would have as a result two thirds of the pizza, right? You get this together with this, you have two thirds of the pizza. And this, if you were to write that, you would write one third plus one third equals two thirds. And here, you see that you only added the top parts or the numerators of the fractions. And that's what you do when you're adding fractions of the, with the same denominator, when you're dealing with holes that have the same number of parts, right? Um, because um, some of you may think or ask me, why don't I add the bottom? And I, well, what do we do? Well, how would that be then? If we were to add the bottom and the top, then you would get one plus one is two. 3 plus 3 is 6, and that would be, if we were to draw that pizza, you would have a pizza that's split into 6 parts, right, because the bottom is, is 6, and you would have 2 of those parts. And we can see that this is not the same as this, because here we have a much smaller part of the pizza, while here our result was almost more than half of the pizza, so it doesn't work. And you can, I recommend you to try that too with other fractions to see, well, if you were to add the bottoms, would that make sense with your visual representation? Because in the end here, we're, at, we're getting one third, getting another third and putting them together in the same pizza, okay? All right, so now we have another example I'm gonna do in the bottom here. What if we have a pizza that is split into four parts and another pizza that's split into four parts? And you take three parts of this pizza and you want to add them to two parts of this pizza. Add th these three parts plus these two parts. What would you get? Then if we draw that, we would have four parts, correct? Or four fourths. And one more fourth. So we, we would have five fourths in total, right? Here we got one, two, three, four, five fourths. And we brought them together. And in this case, how would we write that on the numbers? Well, we have three fourths plus two fourths equals five fourths. And you may look at that, that and think like, this is weird, this is, shouldn't a fraction always be something, uh, be the top less than the bottom? But no, you can have fractions where the top is greater than the bottom, and these are called improper fractions. Um, and also, just to um, add, th you could also write this in another way, which is called mixed numbers, where you think, okay, we have one whole pizza, correct? We have one whole pizza and one fourth. So this is the same thing as writing one and one fourth. But we can get this into we can get into this in a later video. All right. So now, let's try subtracting fractions. Um, if we have, for example, uh, a pizza 
that has split into four parts, and you have three of those parts, and you want to subtract one part. And you could also write this as individual pizza slices, right? We have one, two, three slices of marvelous uh, Cacopini pizza, and you want to take out one of those parts. In other words, here you ate one of those parts. If you ate one of those parts, you subtracted one of those parts, what are you left with? Two parts. And what if, well, how would you write that? Here, you are left with two fourths. And in numbers, that would be written as, here we have three fourths minus one fourth equals two fourths. And this would be your final answer. And yes, guys, this is how you add and subtract fractions with common denominators. We also added some information too about improper and mixed number fractions. Hope you liked. Uh, if you have any questions, again, leave them, you can leave them in the comments here below or contact one of us here in high school. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.